Jesus. Jesus, you don't go on the highway at 25 miles per hour, people. <laughs> hey, what's up everybody? Proper here, and today, uh, just on my way to work, I figured I'd make a, a quick car video. And uh, today, um, I just like to talk about uh, something that's been on my mind for a while. It's uh, kind of a recurring thought, uh, but because the Game of Thrones series finale is upon us at the time of recording this video, it, it will be tomorrow, um, it just got me thinking, will George R.R. R. Martin ever complete his novels? Will he ever complete the series that he started over 22 years ago? And people have been bouncing that around for a while, and my honest answer is no. I don't think he will. I could be very wrong about that, but I think it's not, it's not unreasonable to think that that could very well be a possibility. And before I go into the reasons why, I just want to say that, first off, like, this isn't, nothing that I'm about to say is an attack on George R. R. Martin at all. I'm not trying to make fun of him, I'm not trying to shame him or anything, or saying like, oh, you're so, like, slow or whatever. No, no, that's not, that's not what I'm going for. And, uh, so just with that in mind, uh, let's just get into it. So... The reasons why, uh, first off, is that he's not getting any younger. He's about 70 years old, and it takes him, um, like, 70 years to complete a novel. And normally that wouldn't be too much of an issue, but with that being said, of course, because it takes him a long time to finish a novel, and, you know, he's not getting any younger, I think that there's a very, there's a, it's a very possible that he might, he might pass away before he completes his final book. And I know, I, I know, for, I think that he's going to publish the next book. That, that's, that's, you know, I definitely think that's going to happen, but it's the final one that I'm concerned about. So let's just put that to rest. Um, and also, and this goes back to what I was saying earlier, that I'm not trying to shame him or anything. But I don't have to be, I don't know how his health is, but I do know that you don't have to be a doctor to understand that if you don't take care of yourself, you're not gonna live as long. And again, that's not to, you know, put him down or anything. It's just a fact, you know, if you, you're not, yeah, I mean, if you're not healthy, you know, it's, yeah, I mean, things happen, you know, people don't last forever. And if it takes him, much longer to, you know, complete this book, it's going to be, like, ju almost as long to complete the next one, and by that point, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows where we'll be? Who knows what kind of projects he'll be working on? Because ever since he started um, with, you know, with Benioff and Weiss, with, you know, the start in the series, uh, he hasn't published a single book since the series has started. The series that was based on these books has now began and is now about to end before he's about to publish his next book. And I think that one of the reasons why I think that he's not going to be able to complete um, the final novel is that I think I think the right when season six was about to premiere and the series finally caught up with the books, that was that kind of clued me in. That keyed me into the fact that it's a very, very good possibility that um, he may not be able to finish the books. And so, and with the growing popularity of this series, I think it may or may not have caused him to, you know, th there's a lot of pressure now. Uh, maybe not as much when he started the series. I don't know how many people knew about it, but regardless, I think it's important to understand that, you know, he's human, you know, there's a lot of pressure. Also, writer's block is a thing, and he gets distracted with a lot of other projects, 
you know, as well. You know, he keeps himself busy. And, I mean, that's fine and all. And I also understand that he doesn't, it seems like he doesn't want to just rush and just publish, you know, a half-written book. That would be doing a disservice to the fans that have been waiting for over, and have been invested in this world and in, in these characters for over 22 years, you know. If, you know, people who just, you know, watch the show, that's that's eight years, uh, you know, you guys, I mean, you guys got nothing on these OG fans, you know, that's, they got like, they, they have like 15 years on you, so, with that being said, it would be, it would be doing the, these fans a disservice to just, to publish an incomplete book, and honestly, uh, you know, I, I respect the fact that he, you know, does take his time, but because of his age, because, you know, people don't last forever, something could happen, I don't know, um, I could be wrong, I could be wrong, he could publish it by the end of the year, and then it would probably, I, I would probably change my mind, but until this next book gets complete, uh, gets completed, I'm not sure, and it's just sort of up in the air at the moment, but, uh, yeah, those are just a few reasons why. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Do you think he's going to ever be able to complete the series that he started? Do you think it's going to take another five years, or is it going to be published tomorrow? I mean, who knows? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, if you, if you like this video, go ahead, hit that like button, and if you didn't like the video, go ahead, leave a dislike. My feelings won't be hurt, and if you're new here, uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for notifications. And uh, I've received uh, a lot of new subs over the past uh, few weeks, and uh, I'm getting close to 600 subs. I'm very excited for it. And uh, I just want to thank each and every single one of you for for liking these videos, for sharing them, and for just just listening to to me just ramble. And it's it's a really nice feeling to know that there are people who care about what I think and care about my opinions and want to listen to them. It's it's very it's very humbling and I just want to thank each and every single one of you. Um, thank you all so much and have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about uh, seriously seriously you, you stop at a green light this is ridiculous.